Ladies, how do we make a leader happy? That is the question. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Arasa the Dancer is here. And today we are asking how do we make a leader happy on the dance floor. Now, trust me when I say, usually we overthink this. Leaders are different animals than us followers, okay? <laughs> it's actually quite simple, only few things you really need to worry about to make sure that they are having a good time dancing with you. And I am about to give you these points, so listen up carefully and stress less about it. Firstly, let's talk about the technical bit. Yes, you do need to have some sort of basic technique-wise knowledge on how to follow some normal combinations that would occur on your dance, right? Um, just to make sure that you, you know, you can have a nice dance. Uh, doesn't have to be crazy moves. You don't need to be the best dancer to pick up all of the crazy moves to make your leader happy. Just some basic knowledge that, you know, you both could have a dance and, and there could be a nice time. Now, few alarms that usually leaders say that it really bothers them and that is usually noodle arms you're gonna hear and also being stiff and really hard to lead. Now, uh, this is like literally every single leader would mention those things. Noodle arms means you have no connection. So whatever they are trying to do, you just can't respond because it's just, it's just noodles. So you need to learn how to proper technique, how to hold your hands so they wouldn't go all over the place. And you have the extreme version of that as well that they always say, you know, the stiffness, like hard as a rock moving her as a sack of potatoes. Sorry for the comparison, but that means you have so much tension in your arms and your neck all around the upper body area and nothing to do with your size. It's just the tension that you hold that is really hard to do with anything with you, hard to turn you, hard to move you from one place to another. And after the dance, the leaders, they actually can feel it themselves. They're like, my God, that was difficult. So those are kind of like the two things that you want to try and be aware aware of but if you are with a nice connection and you know some basic combinations that is more than enough to actually make the leader happy on the dance floor in terms of technicality all right another thing that really bothers leaders if you tell them what to do or if you back lead like lead yourself into things that is really annoying like first one when you tell a guy what to do or a leader what to do but mostly we, I'm talking about men leading, okay? It's slightly different when females lead. We have a different mindset. But when you tell somebody um, what they're supposed to do or like you're off time or you're supposed to bring your arm here or this is the wrong step, you're supposed to do it like this. It's like you're not the teacher. They are inviting you to dance to have a lovely time. They don't want to hear it. Also, sometimes the ego comes in play. You know, it's already hard to ask a woman to dance. So it's, it's, there's a lot of emotions that come with it. So they don't really enjoy it unless they ask for feedback. If they ask you for feedback, that's fine. But if they haven't, <laughs> stop giving it. Nobody is interested in your opinion. And a lot of the times they know when they do something wrong. So they don't need to hear it. They just want to, you know, make sure that you are happy as well. So just, you know, you've not asked, don't give the information. And the back leading is, is horrific as well because their whole role is to lead you. So if you're leading yourself out of anxiety or out of lack of patience or because of other things that are going through your mind, I know it's a really hard thing to do to relax. And, and I made a video about that as well to help you out. So if you haven't, I'll attach it in the end, how to relax and not back lead. That's an important point and it's a skill on itself to relax and let the, the leader lead. But that's something also that could really bother um, a person who's trying to lead you and take them away from creating a special moment. So those are the two things as well that you want to watch out for. This one is super simple. If you are having a good time, most likely they're having a good time too. If you're having a good time, you're smiling, you know, clearly you're enjoying yourself and being in this dance, that energy transforms and, and transfers into your partner and they'd definitely be having a much more better time as well. 
It doesn't work the same way when the roles reverse. A lot of the times, if the guys are having a good time when they're leading, it's not guaranteed that we are having a good time. We tend to be polite and smile, but actually inside we are dying. <laughs> and you know I'm right. So, but with men and with leaders, you know, as I said before, it's hard for them to ask you to dance. It's hard to learn the skill how to lead nicely. They are always concerned about what we think, whether we're going to dance with them again, what we're going to say to our friends. So if they see you're having a good time, again, it's, it's part of the ego and it's part of just like there's so much stress in, in the whole environment that they think, oh my God, I'm doing a good job. So they just... It's such a lovely satisfying feeling for them to know that they're doing a good job so if you are having a good time that means they will be even more having a good time another thing that from a lot of conversations I have with leaders and of course you know my own experiences I noticed that also the leaders enjoy if you play a little bit in the dance or you're being a little bit cheeky. When I say cheeky, I don't mean uh, in necessarily a sexual way or, or that kind of thing. Cheeky is just playing around. Let's say if the guy flicks your hand up and he's waiting to get it and you're going slow and then faster and he thinks he's not going to get it but then he got it and you smile like ha 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 I got you there you know a little play in the dance so that you wouldn't be just like somebody that they just lead in every single thing and everything is fine but there's nothing there that you give nothing of yourself or like if if they break away you know have a little nice shine routine ready learn something so that you know you could do some shine and you know approach with a little shimmy smile and stuff cheeky playful things that would actually show that you are investing yourself as well that you are trying to create a nice moment for them and the playing around becomes such a contagious thing you play he plays and then it just it becomes so much more fun to dance and leaders for sure enjoy when the follower giving a little bit of extra in the dance herself Okay, this last one you might have not expected. Well, first, of course, you have to smell good. So I said that as well for the leaders. It goes across the board. If you smell bad, nothing matters. Nobody cares how you look. Nobody cares how you dance. Nothing. So you have to smell good. Shower. Don't just pour perfume on yourself if you haven't showered. Shower, you know, deodorant, whatever you need to do. Then a little bit of nice perfume. And, and that's great. But this is, this is the crucial part. This is very unique for the followers. Please make sure you wear things and you do your hair in a way that wouldn't hurt the leaders. If you have long hair like me, don't put it in the ponytail and then smack the guy every time he turns you or a leader, whoever is leading, right? Or don't wear jewelry that flies and pokes out everybody's eye or wear rings that, you know, pokes and scratches or have nails that are not properly done and just scratches everywhere around, you know, or wearing clothes that just, you know, with little tangles that the leader just gets trapped and can't do anything, right? So that is super annoying when the guy's trying to lead you and it's just, whether the pain comes from your outfit or your hair or, or your jewelry, right? Or is like, or the stink comes out of your armpits or whatever. So those are the things that are like, it's, it's nothing to do with the dancing per se, but as somebody who goes out dancing with another human being, you need to think about what you're wearing. It has to be dancing appropriate so you won't hurt your partner. I love making these videos. Let me know if I missed out of any points that you think should be included. Let's have a debate. And as I said before, I'm going to attach some videos here on actually a couple of things that you might benefit from. I will also attach a video about what not to wear so that if you haven't been aware of it, you can look at that video and get a little bit more understanding of what I'm talking about. And now guys, subscribe if you haven't. Can't wait to read your comments. I'll see you soon. Mwah.